Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the woman's story bout between Tabitha Ritchie versus Mariah Maria Oliveira. So in the women's story division, Ritchie versus Oliveira, Tabitha Ritchie, Maria Oliveira. So how I see this one between these two is um, I'm going to go with Tabitha Ritchie. Really, I'm not high on Tabitha Ritchie, but really look at Maria Oliveira, I'm not high on Maria Oliveira at all. I see her quitting one fight on, you know, who she lost to, not Reba, but she lost to... um. I ain't gonna try to remember like she just recently fought, but she lost her. I just like she literally just quit in the fight. She's getting tagged up. She she turned to the side, walked up, saying like, "Yeah, I'm done." I don't like that quitter mentality. I mean, people could be hurting you up, and like you're not getting knocked out, and ref not stopping the fight. But so you're like, "Yeah, I ain't trying to take too much damage. I'm too. I look too good for to do being this type of stuff." And like I'm done. I'm walk off. But not a good look. Then look at her competition. Has been pretty mediocre. Like she still got all these wins and all this experience, still fighting a woman that's zero and zero and. 0 and 1, 0 and 2 and stuff. It's not a good look. And when I watched her fight, she looks like a pretty much a one-dimensional fighter who's not all that great in that one dimension. She, she does got some lymph over Richie, which will be a bit of advantage. Probably will have a little bit of a striking advantage, but I'm not saying nothing great. Like, not a great finisher, not a great grappler, not great offense, not great output, nothing really great about her. She just got a little bit of lymph. She, she's trained, but nothing stand out. But Richie going to be undersized Per usual, I feel like she's probably to go down to Adam Weight, but there is no Adam Weight in the UFC. So she's always going to kind of be running to that wall. And matter of fact, probably won't be a wall. I, don't think gonna, I can't see her going too far in this division. She's just too undersized. And like, it's not like she's so skilled to be get them all, giving up all the size, but she can beat Maria Oliveira. So she could probably be this low level entry level until maybe they open up an Adam Weight division. Then maybe she can, she can stick around. But even at Adam Weight, I could see other women who can make Adam Weight who would still leave her. Maybe this is a early title bout fight because there's not going to be that many women early on. Maybe she get there. But anytime you soon get like 10 women in the division, she's going to probably be at a lower middle, I said lower middle, lower bottom or lower middle of the weight class. But this is not about Tabitha Ritchie's future. This is about this this fight. And I just feel like Oliveira's grappling could be very questionable and Ritchie is definitely a, a solid grappler. So I feel like she's going to be able to take it there, drag her ground, wear her down. Over the course of three rounds, like pretty much rest and repeat, taking her down every single round, controlling her large portions of the round. I think eventually, after this two rounds of wearing her down, I think in that third round, she taps her out. So in this fight, I got Tabitha Ritchie via third round submission.